Okay, so next topic that we have to talk about is dearrangement. It means that if n items are arranged in a row, then the number of ways in which they can be rearranged, so no one of them occupies the place assigned to it. Let me simplify this with you and uh, let's say there are n envelopes. This is the category of questions which are asked, n envelopes and there are n letters, right? So actually n letters which are addressed to their corresponding person should go to the corresponding envelope. So for example, in the envelope, this let's say this is the envelope. We have already written to let's say Mr. A and this letter over here, right? is also addressed to Mr. A. So that means this letter should go only to this envelope. Otherwise, if I say there is a letter which says to Mr. B, right? To Mr. B. And if this goes to this letter, then envelope, sorry, then we call this case as D arrangement. That means this has been D arranged. This case would have been case of arrangement that it has gone into its proper place. But if Mr. B's letter goes into Mr. A envelope or Mr. C goes to Mr. A, this these things are called dearrangement. So if there are five letters and you want to dearrange them, so in, this is the formula that you people have to use. This is generalized for n things. So if I have to talk about that five letters are there and there are five envelopes and they are dearranged, right? So that means none of them got into the correct envelope. So the answer would be 5 factorial. Let's replace n by 5. 1 minus 1 factorial. So alternative plus minus plus 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial minus uh, plus 1 by 4 factorial and we'll go till yes till 5 factorial. That is how we solve this. So this is the answer of D arrangement. So you can say these are total cases of D arrangements. Right. I hope this is clear. Let me apply this in a difficult problem. So see, it says a person writes letter to six friends and addresses the corresponding envelope. So that means he have written Mr. A and on the envelope also he has written Mr. A. So the right letter should go to the right envelope. In how many ways can the letters be placed so that at least two of them are in the wrong envelope. So now what, sorry, what we did earlier was total dearrangement. So for total dearrangement was when everything went in the wrong place. Right now they are asking very specific at least two. Right. So for at least two, what I can say, let's draw case one. Right. When two are dearranged, at least two means when two are dearranged. Right. So for two dearranged, what you will do? There are total how many things? Six. So first of all, out of six, you will choose two for which two has been dearranged. So six E2 into formula for dearrangement and I would say D2. Right. So what does D2 represents here is D2 is two factorial one minus one factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial. Remember the formula for D. Case 2 would be 3 D arrangements possible, right? For 3 D arrangements, what I will say, first of all, out of any 6, 3 could be D arranged. So for any 3, you would say 6 E3 and then you will use the formula D3. What will D3 here be? Yes, now you are getting it. 3 factorial minus 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial. Then case 4, uh, case 3, Getting hold of it, four D arrangements possible. This would be six C four into D four. Similarly, six C five into D five, and similarly six C six into D six. This is the case. This last case is the case of total D arrangement, which we did in the earlier question. Apart from the earlier case five, so this case six is actually your total D arrangement case out of these all six. So if you add them up, adding them up will give you the answer. Adding them will give you the is the answer, right? So this is how you have to solve these kind of questions. The second part was all the letters are in the wrong envelope. So, uh, so for this is nothing but case six, right? Now this is how you apply the case of D arrangement.